Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we got a good one today. Uh, Chris Billum Smith and uh, Richard Riakpo. I think I'm saying that right. Riakpo, is that how you say it? <coughs> uh, the rematch, part two, in what's going to be a really intriguing fight. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes to you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers of bookies, they don't know what they're doing, but I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that banner below. Just $5 a month. $5 a month gets you all the perks, all the benefits. It gets you the lock of the week, which we, which is already released for this week, so join it now. Make sure you get the lock for this week. Uh, it gets you... Uh, it gets you the... Ask the bookie anything. I'll handicap a fight for you. Uh, Scout report. It gets you a ton of perks. Let me know. Uh, whatever you guys need. I'll show you how to make money in every single fight. Uh, we'll break down props that we don't do uh, in the videos that are released uh, you know, right before the fight. Ask the bookie anything. Um, also, join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recover. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Chris Billum Smith and Rocket Poe, they fought once. This was back in 2019. Um, competitive co contest. Rocket Poe won a competitive decision in which neither fighter I thought looked great, although Rocket Poe looked, looked clearly better. I think it ended up being a split decision. Uh, I didn't see it that close. I, I thought it was. Fairly one-sided. He's gone. He's got a, a, a stop at the uh, Fabio Turkey, uh, former champ Christopher Gowaki. I, I think Rocco is a pretty good fighter. Um, but let's get into Bill Smith first. Um, strong, come forward, and slow. His head is on the line. He's easy to hit. He's straight in and out. He throws hard shots. He's in and out. He throws hard shots. He's got a durable chin, but he gets hit too much, right? Like the best chin is the one that is untested, you know, and, and Chris Billum Smith, he gets hit a lot. He just got the one loss to Rick Poe, but, and, and he's not a terrible offensive fighter. His footwork is not great. It, it's kind of a mess. His feet are slow, but offensively he commits to his shots. He, he throws hard, but they're a little bit long. He leaves his face wide open. He's defensively sloppy. His footwork is a mess, like I said. But he's physically strong. He's, he's going to walk Rick Apoe back. That's going to be his key to victory. He's a he's blunt force, sloppy. But he's a come forward guy. He uses his jab well to a degree. He doubles it up in a way like he doubles his jab up nicely. Like He does some things well offensively, and he's big and strong, and he commits to his shots. He's, you know, basic and, and sloppy a little bit. He jabs out of the, the high guard pretty well. You know, when he, when he stays high and tight, that's what I, that's where I like him. But he'll have a tendency to get wide and sloppy, and he's easy to hit at that point, and he's slow. And he, countering him is a, is a piece of cake. Um, it doesn't take a long time, and you can obviously outspeed him, although Rickapo isn't exactly grease lightning either. But he's 6'3", good side, strong as an ox. He's not a bad fighter. You know, the cruiserweight division outside of appetizing great right now. He's got some decent wins. Uh, he's got a majority decision over Akoli, uh, in which he knocked Akoli down, you know, uh, how many times was it? Um, but he can be a box. And, you know, he's going to be tested. WBO, WBO cruiserweight champ. He's a decent fighter with a lot of flaws, but he, with some good offensive characteristics. Rickapo, much better jabber, better fundamental fighter, strong, long jab. You know, gets a little wild too. Both these guys have a you know a knack of getting hit and, and leading with their face. He also throws some wide shots, but he, he's more accurate. Especially with the right hand, he throws the, this when he throws the the, the 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 right straight. It's pretty accurate from long range. 
he's going to win this fight at long range. He sets himself up quickly, and he gets his feet underneath him. He, he can back up, plant his feet, shift his weight, and, and fire his power shots pretty well. He does it pretty quickly. He's kind of slow, too, but he's got good power. These guys are similar in a way. I just think Rick Capoe is more complete, a better offensive fighter. Yeah, Rick Capoe is better. He's 34. They're both finished products. He's 6'5", 77 inch rate, so he's long. He could potentially fill out into a heavyweight if he wanted to, although he's already 34. This is his first world title. He should probably get this done. I think he wins it on points. He's a more complete fighter. He doesn't sit still. He keeps moving, so it's going to be hard for Bellsmith to catch him and really track him down. He's going to fight well at long range. And I, I think he just wins a, you know, a competitive but ho-hum affair. And um, let's take a look at that. So, here, here's what I want to do. Let's pull up. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm losing my brain here. All right. Here are the two bets that I like. Rickapoo on the money line, you're gonna you're gonna take your normal bet, you're gonna cut it in half, you're gonna split it between these two things. Rickapoo on the money line is gonna make you 22-22. Rickapoo over ten and a, uh, over ten and a half is gonna make you 26-31. So that's 26 and 22. That's it's gonna make about 50 bucks on a hundred dollar bet. Uh, we're going to split it up. We're going to put half our bet on, on over. I, I really like the over. I think this thing's definitely going to be over. And I like Rick Apoo, Rick to win on the money line. Those odds aren't great. It's, it's two, minus 225. So I, I would just split the bet up and cash in on both. And whatever your normal bet is, put half of it on Rick Apoo and the other half on the over. And you're going to make you're going to bring it down to about a minus, you know, 200 or so. It's not bad odds. I think Rick Capoe is safe. I think the over is safe. You can bet these a little bigger if you want. If you want to be a gambler, uh, 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 I would not mind Rick Capoe by decision. It pays pretty well. I'm not putting that in my official bet, but something that I like. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts comments below please like share and subscribe follow the boxing book in all forms of social media join the patreon link is in the description get the lock of the week get all the bonus props get asked to book anything uh leave your thoughts comments below it is june 13th 2024 uh from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3 boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.